Frankfurt police are investigating after the driver of an alleged stolen car out of Frankfurt, Kentucky, led police on a car chase. It happened early yesterday and ended with a crash in Shelby County. According to Shelbyville police, a stolen car was traveling more than 100 miles per hour on Frankfurt Road, but the officer says, but the officer lost sight of that car. Now, police say Saturday around 2 a.m. the stolen car was seen in the Clay Village area where it crashed into a median. The people in the car left the scene. Police say a male juvenile involved in the incident was arrested near the scene just a couple of hours later. The car has been impounded. Well, two people are recovering after being struck by lightning in southern Indiana. According to the Jennings County Sheriff's Office, deputies responded to a report that two people were hit by lightning in County Squire Lakes on Friday. Deputies say they found an 18 year old man and a nine month pregnant teenager injured inside a tent outside their home. The office, the sheriff's office says both victims are listed in serious condition, but are stable. The office also received information that the baby is expected to be OK. The Louisville Metro Housing Authority says power is expected to be restored today at Dosker Manor. This is the second time in two weeks that residents at the complex have been left in the dark. The power went out in Building C late Friday night. WHAS 11's Alexandra Goldberg and photojournalist Aspen Hester talked to residents and advocates who are frustrated about these outages. This, this place is not you know, good to place to live in. Judy Cecil can't take the stairs, so when the power goes out at Dosker Manor, she's stuck on the 17th floor of Building C. I don't know if that elevator is going to work or not. This is Building C, where Dosker Manor residents have experienced their second power outage in two weeks. Residents and advocates are calling for reform and move outs as soon as possible. They need to be moved ASAP out of these living conditions. Oscar Manor is public housing that has stood for over 50 years. Residents have long complained about the building standards. About 170 Building C residents completely lost power. The Louisville Metro Housing Authority says it's due to a sprinkler that burst in one of the apartments, which resulted in flooding and shut down the building's electrical system. The Housing Authority estimates power won't be restored until Sunday. But I had my refrigerator freezer. Now I threw all that out. The Housing Authority says Metro government agencies will be providing food and water to affected residents. This is the second week in a row that Building C residents were left without power. On July 26th, the outage lasted almost an entire day. <laughs> Us as people, we don't have a choice but live here because it's all we can afford. Another Dosker Manor resident who asked to conceal their identity said all three buildings have severe problems. We have bed bugs, we have roaches, we have mold, we have hissing cockroaches, we have the water pipes that bust every other day, if not every day. In a statement, Louisville Metro Housing Authority says we are committed to finding long term solutions for Dosker Manor, including relocating residents to better housing as quickly as possible. This weekend situation highlights the urgency and importance of these plans. However, Chanel Helm with Black Lives Matter Louisville says despite residents speaking up, Metro housing isn't listening. I mean, these people are not silent whatsoever. These people are very much ignored. And every day they have complaints, they have issues, and they are naming that if they could move themselves, they would. Chanel is calling for a haste move out process and says there should be priority for disabled and elderly residents. Alexandra Goldberg, WHAS 11, on your side. And demolition plans are underway for all Dosker Manor apartment buildings. Residents in Building A have started to relocate, but there's no exact timeline for when the buildings will be torn down. It's great to be back on the stage in Fancy Farm at the greatest political tradition in Kentucky. The 144th Fancy Farm Picnic brought out some big Kentucky political leaders and Republicans wasted no time taking shots at Governor Andy Bashir, who was notably absent this year. Now Kentucky Republicans attack Bashir's efforts to be the running mate for Vice President Kamala Harris. Now Governor Bashir was invited to speak at the picnic, but did not agree to do so this year. Representative James Comer and Senator Mitch McConnell both used their speeches to blast Bashir as he is one of six being interviewed by Vice President Harris this weekend. And the leader of the Democratic Party, the governor, I hear is spending the weekend with Vice President Harris. 
I'd like to rather be with you guys. Speaking of Andy, they say he isn't here today because he's applying for another job. Desperate to reinvent him, his image from a wimpy choir boy to a liberal attack dog. And now many Democrats attended the picnic to defend the governor. Aaron Marshall, who's challenging Comer for his seat in November, did push Bashir's popularity in the state and his good record. I am running to continue the work that we have worked to put in over the past years with Governor Bashir. It is time to bring back more jobs to the district, support our farmers, revitalize our small town, and protect a woman's right to make her own health care choices. In a statement, Kentucky Democratic Party leaders dismissed the attacks as pointless, saying in part they don't work because families know Andy and they know he is genuine, compassionate, and he shows up over and over again to deliver for Kentuckians.